Hi, welcome to another tutorial on Python programming language. Uh, in this particular tutorial, we're going to learn um, the uh, a basic data structure in Python known as list. So we'll we we'll learn uh, what Python lists are and how do we use this uh, data structure while programming in Python. So let's get started. So how do we uh, define a list? We can we can you know give it any name. Let's say the name of the list is x, and then we just have random numbers, some kind of a number uh, inside it. Okay, so that's uh, a basic list. We can print uh, what's there in the list like this. Print x. So let's save this, and then let's run. All right. So when you print it, you will get all the uh, elements in that list. We can actually index it. Uh, that means we can um, we can actually print the first number, second number, or any one of the number or a couple of these numbers uh, by indexing it. So how do we do that? We can uh, print the first element. Let's say we want to print the first element. So it could be x uh, and within bracket first. That means one is the uh, index in this case okay so don't confuse this one with this okay we'll just change this number maybe that's better okay so the first element here in this case is 5 so we're trying to print the first element so all right so the first element is 5 no so first uh, sorry so in the index starts with 0 okay so the first uh, index is 0 1 and so on so first is so the uh, first element is 5 and if you want to print the first element, just write okay. The index is zero. Okay, so when you print, we'll get uh, five in the uh, in the result. All right. Uh, so we can actually have uh, both uh, characters and numbers in this uh, same list. Okay, we can have a list something like this. Um, Apple all right um, let's print fifth element. So this is the beauty of Python list, which is uh, not found in many other programming languages where uh, in the same list you can have both characters as well as uh, as well as numbers. So um, you know that's one aspect of or one important feature of uh, you know Python lists. So you can have any type of data in the uh, list. All right. So, can we add numbers to list? Okay, can we add? Yes. So we can append numbers to list. So how do we do that? So we just type x dot append, uh, and let's say we want append uh, ten. Okay. So okay, and then we'll print. We'll print x. So let's remove the other print statements. Save it, and when we run this, we can you can see now that uh, the number ten is now appended to the right of this list. Okay, um, can we insert a number um, in any one of uh, anywhere in the list, like? Uh, need not be at the end yes we can do that okay so for that we can use the insert statement okay insert and let's say we want to uh, rip uh, you know you want to have a number after two okay first two and third element we can have uh, some some numbers so, so how do we do that so the index is uh, two and then we want uh, a number let's say 12 to be inserted at that place okay so let's run this all 
okay the spelling is wrong insert okay all right now you can see you can see in the output uh, 12 is now inserted uh, at the third place okay all right and you can also insert um, a uh, string need not be just a number okay mango let's say all right I can see uh, string uh, is mango is now inserted at the third place all right so that's about uh, how we can insert and update a particular list there are variety of things you can do using uh, list you can do a lot of operation math operation uh, quite a number of things using list okay so let's say we want to use a list in for loop so let's say for i uh, in um, in a list let's say one two three print i okay all right so you can use um, list uh, while you know iterating uh, in a for loop or a while loop okay so that's how you've done so for i in uh, one uh, in a particular list so the value, uh, the, uh, the variable i takes value, different value in the uh, list and we're just printing it. So that's useful because whenever you want to, or maybe you can, you know, define uh, this particular list outside uh, the for loop and then call only the, uh, call by the name. Okay. Um, so that, that's also possible. You can do a lot of operations. Um, you can do a lot of operation let's say you want to know the length of the list okay so let's uh, print the length of the list length of x length is nothing but how many number of elements are there uh, in the uh, list x so let's run this and it says that there are six elements there in the list x and I guess yes, we have got six element in the list X. All right. Okay, so what else we can do? We can actually add two list. We can subtract two list and so on. Pretty much like two matrices. It's similar to what we can do in matrices. So let's print uh, two addition of two uh, lists plus all right so we now have two lists the first one has three elements one two three the second one has three elements four five six and then you can you can uh, actually uh, add these two lists and print these values okay so 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 when you add these two lists, what will happen is uh, the numbers or the elements in the second list will get appended to the uh, first right hand side of the first list. So unlike the matrix operation or matrix addition where you, see you add two matrices, so each element will get added to the other number, it's not going to happen in this case. So when we add two uh, lists, the, num the elements are going to get appended to the right side of the first list. That's what this will happen. All right. So, can we do a minus? Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure if that's going to work. All right. It's not going to work. Okay. So, so it's the features of list are not same as uh, matrices, as I had said in the, uh, earlier. So that's different. All right. So what else we can do? Uh, you can also remove uh, elements from uh, a list. So how do we do that? Uh, let's say we want to uh, remove the element um, uh, apple from this case. Okay, so apple is um, uh, the fifth element, right? Uh, which is an index of four. Okay, so we can use the keyword 
x dot remove uh, and then index it and let's print x all right okay okay i think the index should be 5 okay fine so you can see uh, okay something is wrong Okay, so in this case, uh, when you remove uh, four, so it's not taking as an index. Instead, it's it's removing uh, the number four in this particular list. So in order to uh, remove uh, just by using an index, what you can do, you can simply uh, index it. Okay, so use. Okay, um, and now it's going to it's going to remove apple from this case okay all right yes that's right now you can see in the output there is no apple uh, as the element in the list x so these are different aspects of uh, python list you can do a lot of other things uh, fun things using python list you can use them uh, in while loop do loop uh, in conditional statements so thanks for watching this videos and please subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you